Have you ever wondered just how many wheel weights we can add to a wheel? Neither have I, but that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna add as many wheel weights as we can, and then we're gonna find out just how it actually affects the acceleration and how the car handles. And I think the easiest way will be that we simply just clean the wheels here on the inside so that the weights will actually stick. And then we'll just attach as many as we can, go and see if we can do a new balancing, and then we'll install the tires and we'll see what happens from there. Some Dawn dish soap here with a bit of water. And a bit of brake clean. And then we simply start adding the weights. And I think if we take it in smaller pieces here, well, uh, hopefully if they do come flying off as we, as we do the test, well, maybe it'll just be smaller chunks coming off instead of the big ones. But I guess let's just do it and find out. Okay, with both the wheels uh, now done, it's time to weigh them because we know what they weighed before, so... And we'll start with this one here. 28.5 kilos. Okay, that's 4.1 kilo or so. And 28.5 kilo here as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and balance them on a real like tire balancing machine. And uh, hopefully the weights won't come flying off when we do our performance tests. And we did manage to uh, balance uh, these wheels here uh, rather easily. Now, I don't show a whole lot of footage from the actual balancing as it's, it's not my shop, it's not my machines. Uh, doing a YouTube episode there, speaking a foreign language, it just doesn't really uh, work that great for me. But I, I do hope that you can see that it didn't actually uh, take that many weights to balance it. And I'm honestly a bit surprised that it uh, only took around 55 uh, grams of weight uh, in one uh, instance here uh, for it to be well balanced. Either way, uh, now we just need to install them. Uh, then we need to refuel to keep the test somewhat comparable between before and after. And then we can go ahead and do the acceleration and the driving test. And honestly, it already is a lot uh, heavier than before. At least that's what it, it feels like. So. And merely driving down here five kilometers or so to the gas station to refuel, well, I can tell you that it already feels a bit more sluggish. 70, 80, 90, no vibrations. Here's to hoping they'll keep in their place so that the testing can commence.
and uh, back from uh, testing uh, 50 to 110 km per hour and the uh, handling and in fact uh, it did uh, get uh, slower and we do have some bro science data to back it up but I've also kind of been scratching my head at the results because I don't think that the results are uh, conclusive. First a little bit of background info. In a previous video we tested 17 and 18 inch wheels and they came in at 78 kilos and 93 kilos and it did in fact get uh, somewhat um, uh, slower as the weight increased here but we also found that there was a gearing change so I thought to myself let's get rid of the gearing change uh, by doing an 18 versus 18 the same wheels but just adding the weights and it came into uh, 9.4 kilos added or what is equivalent to around 21 pounds. The best we managed to do was a 6.54, so uh, definitely slower, but on average 6.65. So not really a huge difference there. And we did just add almost a 10 kilos and the logical conclusion would be that the added rotational weight of the wheel uh, would result in this uh, slower time as the weight increased. But uh, here's the thing, I did an earlier video where we just for fun removed 53 kilos or what is probably 120 pounds or so. But uh, after removing 53 kilos, well, Six point zero seconds, and that somewhat aligns with adding ten kilos would uh, give a well somewhat uh, in the area of a zero point one second. I think what we found out is that uh, simply just adding weight uh, makes you slower, and adding them to the wheels doesn't make you exponentially slower. That's at least the results I have here. Uh, maybe you have a better explanation than me and if you do I'd love to hear it in the comments. But with all that uh, being said, uh, a big uh, thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful or interesting, please consider liking or subscribing. Mm -hmm.